Hi, Entertaining Universe. So, I want to talk about what it means to be a fan of sports. And then I want to talk a little bit about something else that has to do with sports in today's vlog. So, every person has their own definition of what a sports fan is. My definition may be different from your definition, and your definition may be different from someone else's definition of what a sports fan is. Look, all I'm going to say is this. Every single person on this planet who's a sports fan, whether they follow the NFL, whether they follow, follow H NHL, the NBA, MLB, college football, college basketball, um, whatever you may follow, there's, there's this one thing that everyone should agree on. That you have to believe in your team. What, whoever your team is, whoever you follow, whatever, what, it could be any NFL team, it could be any NBA team, it could be any NHL team, which is Ice Hockey, uh, National Hockey League, um, which is Ice Hockey, it could be, could be college football, whatever it is, you got to believe in your team. And not just when they're winning championships or winning their um, division or winning their, um, the NFC or the AFC or the Pacific Division or whatever they're in, um, or the West or whatever they're in, in any sports. Um, it could be the Big 12, anything like that. It could be the Pac-12, it could be the SEC, the ACC, whatever. those are college um, um, conferences, by the way. you got to believe in your team when they're winning all these games and when they lose all the games. Sure, you can get angry at a lot of different variation, variables that happen, whether it's a silly mistake like a penalty or a silly mistake like a foul or a uh, whatever it may be. In ba I can't, I'm not sure what it is in baseball, but uh, mistakes basically. If there's a mistake that your team does and you're not happy with it, it's okay not to be happy with that mistake that they made. Whether it's a penalty, whether it's a foul, whether it's um, a, a, pen, a penalty in high, it's a high, ice hockey, you know, whatever it may be, you can you can get upset with that team. That doesn't mean you're a bad fan or a terrible fan or anything like that. It, and it's 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 a matter of sticking with that team no matter how difficult things get. If they lose all their games in a season, or if they win all their games in a season, or the the silly mistakes they make throughout the season in a in a football game, or a basketball game, or a hockey game, or a college football game, or or a baseball game, silly mistakes are not the end of the world. Basically, you, sure, you, I know it sounds like I'm being contradictory uh, uh, in that statement. Every single fan of some, some sports team, whether you're, uh, you live in L.A., you live in San Francisco, you live in New York, you live in Boston, you live in, or you're a fan of any one of those, you know, football, you know, all that stuff. Sure, your team could have an off season. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with having an offseason. There's nothing wrong with have, winning a Vince Lombardi trophy or a Stanley Cup or or a um, commissioner's trophy or you know or national championship or whatever it may be. Now, th with that being said, I'm going to talk about this subject. You know, sure the SF Giants lost in the first round of the playoffs this year, or this past season. And I, sure, I was a little upset at the start, and then I realized that we're not going to win every single, you know, we're not going to win championships, you know, every single year. That's just not realistic. And the same thing could be said about the, about the San Jose Sharks, who I've been following for a long time. They're not going to win a Stanley Cup, you know, every year. Sure, they have never made it. They never won a Stanley Cup in their 31 years that they've been in San Jose. Um, 
And hopefully maybe that, that will change this year or next year or it could take a couple of years before that changes. And, you know, same thing could be said about the SF Giants. Sure, we've won it in 2010, 2012, and 2014, but, you know, someday in the future we could win another, you know, Commissioner's Trophy in Major League Baseball. And, you know, and so... Next year, maybe the Ohio State Buckeyes make it to the national championship game and win it. But that doesn't, that's, you know, Ohio State won the Rose Bowl this year. They beat the Utah Utes in the Rose Bowl. Rose Bowl. Sure, the Giants, made, the upside of it is the SF Giants made it to the playoffs this, year, this past season. Sure, they lost, but they still made it to the playoffs. And, you know, the... Golden State Warriors, they're playing, you know, they're not playing too great right now, but they are having a great season. They have 33 wins and 13 losses. That's all I'm going to say on that subject. You know, and in the NHL, you know, the San Jose Sharks, their record is, I don't remember what it is but right now, but they have 44 points, and they're not doing, they're like kind of in the middle of the pack of the, the uh, that side of, the side the Sharks are on. And in the NFL, you know, no one, no one gave the San Francisco 49ers any sort of chance to make it as far as they, they have right now at this point. Which brings me to my point of, of you know, sure, you know, the San Francisco 49ers haven't had, you know, the greatest track record since winning, since winning their last championship in 1994. Sure, they've been to the Super Bowl numerous times over the years, whether it was 2012, whether it was 2019, and sure, they didn't win it either one of those years, and they probably went to Super Bowls before, you know, 2012, and they probably, they'll probably go to the Super Bowls again in the future. The point, is that the, the point I'm trying to make in this vlog is that when you count someone out, try not to. Because they will surprise you. That no one at the beginning of the season, or even eight eight weeks into the season, gave the Niners any sort of chance at winning a Super Bowl, or even making the playoffs. Let's just let's just put it that no one gave them a chance to making the playoffs. They had to win on the final game of the season against the Los Angeles Rams. They won by three points, twenty seven to twenty four, in Los Angeles. Then they had to go to Dallas two weeks ago and beat the Cowboys in Jerry in, at Jerry um, in Jerry's World, which is Dallas Cowboys Stadium, and they did that by winning twenty three to seventeen. Then last night they had to beat the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau when it was eleven degrees there. And it felt like zero in Wisconsin. And they beat them by three points, 13 to 10. Now, I don't know who we're playing next week. And by we, I mean I'm a 49ers fan, have been for the past, you know, 10 plus years. It could be the either the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or it could be the Los Angeles Rams. Now, I'm not saying we're going to win. I'm not saying we're going to lose. I'm just saying... Either way, it's going to be a great game next week in the NFC title game. The winner of that game goes on to the Super Bowl to either play the Bengals, the Chiefs, or the Bills. Um, the Bengals have already moved on to the AFC title game. They're waiting for their opponent just like the Niners are waiting for their opponent. And there's two games today. It's between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers... And the Los Angeles Rams. That is for the NFC. Uh, the winner of that game goes on to the NFC title game. The Bengals have already won. They won last night, nineteen to sixteen, over the T Tennessee Titans. The winner, the Bengals, will be playing either the will be playing the winner of the Bills versus um, Chiefs game, which is also today. So, you know, a lot of things get, could happen. A lot of things. You know, we'll figure that out as they as tomorrow rolls around. Just just remember what I said. 
I believe in my, all of the teams I follow, whether it's the San Jose Sharks, the SF Giants, the um, Golden State Warriors, the San Francisco 49ers, the Ohio State Buckeyes, whether it's their basketball team, their football team, um, whatever it may be. Um, and there's other teams that I, I follow as well that are, you know aren't those five th teams um, that I just listed. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be fans of them for the rest of my life, and I've been fans of them for quite some time now. Um, for the Warriors, it's been only like, it hasn't been quite ten years, um, but it's been close. It's very close to ten years. Um, next year it'll be ten years. Uh, so there's that, or maybe it's a couple of years. But anyways, I, I've been following the Sharks for my entire life. My entire life. Just because I don't talk about them every single day doesn't mean I'm not a fan of them. Same with the Golden State Warriors. That's just, it's just, they're just great teams. Same with the SF Giants. I'm going to follow them till the day I die. Same with the Golden State Warriors. Same with the San Jose Sharks. Same with the Ohio State Buckeyes. Same with the San Francisco 49ers. Win or lose, I'm going to be a fan of them for the rest of my life. And from when I started being a fan of them until today. And with that being said, we've got a couple birthdays we got to wish today, so um, let's do that. Okay, so I want to wish Greg Benson a happy birthday, and I want to wish uh, Daniela Braga Freed a happy uh, 30th birthday today. And that's it for birthdays today. So I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog, and ciao. Bye bye.